Here we go. I miss when World of Warcraft was just a game to me. In fact, I missed when most games were just games. I was reminded of this last night while playing Quest 64, an old Nintendo 64 game. There's barely any direction, that. there's no objectives, and there's a ton of rooms and corridors and hallways that just lead nowhere. It annoyed me at first. I would say stuff like, why would the developers put that there if it has no purpose? Or I'd say something like, that's bad game design. But then I did some reflection. There was a day before good game design, when games weren't designed to keep you engaged, or keep your dopamine levels high, or give you constant breadcrumb rewards. There was a day when they were just games to play without Local purpose adventure. just for fun almost like playing pretend when you were a kid so why did the developers put that empty hallway there well because someone may just want to explore around for fun how about that playing a game true. for the fun of it true I used to feel the same way about World of Warcraft. Nowadays, I care about item levels, I care about rating, I care about new content, and the best talent builds, and the top classes, and the top specs, and the next patch, and the buffs, and- This is the reason why I, I deliberately try to not care about that. I know that these are important parts of the game. The raids, the dungeons, the mythic plus, the item levels, the next alt, if you want. I don't want to care about that. I want- this guy is probably, I haven't watched the video yet, but this guy is going to talk about probably what I, how I have seen WoW for the entirety of my casual journey. Uh, my casual journey is, has, has the span of probably 15 years. I haven't been the most casual player around Legion, but every time when I was in WoW, be because I was not a top player, I was like, but let's have fun. Let's, I want to remind myself what was the first feeling I had when I was playing the game, which was I created a character and I started goofing around. I didn't understand English very well back then, probably now as well. Don't make jokes about that, but I made a character and I started killing things, and the last thing I have killed was one swine in front of Orgrimmar as a troll shaman, and I was like, oh, I have spent one hour in this game, and it's shit. And probably a year after that, I returned to the game with different mindset, didn't know very much, but I was with friends this time, and it was so much fun. I didn't have an objective, but it was so much fun fun just to explore the world with someone else this is world of warcraft for me let's see what this guy is having in his right pocket and the nerfs and even blizzard seems to have adapted to this style of thinking making every new zone and raid high octane and high priority in the storyline there's no time anymore to just relax and play but it wasn't always like this when I first started playing World of Warcraft in 2006, I was a dwarf warrior and I had no clue what I was doing. But I didn't know one thing. I loved being engrossed in the world. True. I would go into every building in Ironforge just to look around and think how cool it might be to just- uh, Okay, S stop. How can you say you were Alliance? Hang out here with friends and talk. Not questing, <laughs> not leveling, not gearing, just hanging out in a cool secluded place in Ironforge talking about life. Same thing for this random building in Orgrimmar. I barely made it to level 20 on that first character, but I probably explored most of the entire world map. And I can still remember the eyes felt yeah. when I accidentally stumbled into the burning steps by walking through the broken gate in the north of Red Ridge Mountains, and yeah. suddenly I arrived in Fire and Brimstone. Seeing the blackened, smoky sky and the lava pouring from the mountains was amazing, and seeing the creatures and dragons that roamed the land made me excited to eventually come back and quest here, which I never did. Oops. Yes. But I do still remember that feeling, the wonder and the awe at every zone and every turn. And now I'm so familiar with every zone that I gotta admit I'm pretty killer at WoW GeoGuessr. So that begs the question, is this just a nostalgia thing? And I don't think so, as Classic WoW and Season of Discovery in particular still have their moments of invoking wonder in me more so than modern WoW. And I think what it comes down to is the idea of a game being just that. A game. The process of not needing to follow an ideology of good game design, or retention practices, or meaningful progression systems, or balance. In the many empty buildings in each capital city, I feel the echoes of players... 
But the problem with SOD is that they're not trying to just bring the game. They're trying to sweat up the game, if you know what I mean. Which is the problem for me. They kept the tough part of the game that you just explore, that it takes you 50 years to level up, you don't see any progression. And on top of that, you're having now to grind the rooms and all of that stuff. I don't like SOD, I'm not gonna lie. ...and guilds that came before and probably hung out within their walls chatting in game rather than using something like Discord to do voice chat. And even beyond the capital cities, there are empty vistas in areas of the game that some may consider useless. Is this real thing? There is a... ...thing with help? ...or poorly designed that were really just there to add flavor for those who wanted it. And even endgame raids in Classic WoW like Molten Core didn't feel as immediately pressing OMG to complete OMG again as watching some lame sod shit! I'm gonna turn off the, S, the TTS while I'm watching vids. Uh, the video is, I miss when WoW was just a game. So, it's not lame. As soon as you could. I mean, there wasn't always a world-ending catastrophe just on the other side if you didn't hurry up and progress through the raid. In modern WoW, there is a greater emphasis on the critical path and on progression for the sake of story, and in a sense, I get it. You have to keep the players engaged, you have to keep the stakeholders happy, and you need to constantly have high stakes. Unfortunately, Blizzard already crossed the border of highest stakes of all time with the Shadowlands expansion and the universe-ending Jailer. I mean, how can you create another engaging story without putting the universe at stake again? But that's just the point for me. I don't want another universe ending, world ending, or even continent ending storyline. I want a lived in world with smaller, more meaningful bite sized stories that are fun to explore. I don't want a fresh new continent where it feels like nobody's ever been there before. I want to feel as if I'm part of the world again, not the champion of Azeroth. I want to walk around kind of and true. explore the corners. Kind of true. It doesn't have to be the next Avengers story storyline so it has to so that it is interesting but yeah of each zone and building not for a reward or a secret but for the fun of it but the gaming landscape has changed we don't need to talk using in-game chat anymore discord has a great interface a bunch of communities and it's easier than ever to voice chat with your friends Back in the day, having a TeamSpeak or Vent server was a big deal, and having good enough internet to run that at the same time as playing World of Warcraft was an even bigger deal. Stereotypically nowadays, gamers are painted as these nitro-fueled, energy drink-chugging, RGB lighting enthralled adult children. And to pander to that stereotype, we need flashy games that pack a punch and better pack one quick before your captive audience chooses one of a million other games promising the same thing. But there's another catch, they're all promising the same thing. How awesome would it be to finally have a World of Warcraft expansion or experience with a slower pace, a chiller vibe, and some good old fun exploration? And no, I'm not talking about the cozy game genre, which, side note, it's probably growing fast because more people are wanting that type of vibe, but I don't want WoW to be a farming sim or an idle game. I would want the upcoming WoW expansions to feel like classic WoW and Season of Discovery in their pacing. Slowed down, less high... St I agree and I, I, I disagree. I really... I like the slow pace of classic, but to a certain extent, it's just too agonizing to level up 60 levels, bro. You cannot, it takes like so much out of your life to level up 60 levels. And the problem is that I'm slowed down and I'm slowed pace. Wow, sweats like Deb. He's already level 60, I'm level 10! Stakes, less flashy lights, less progression systems, with more corners to explore, whether they're empty or not. I don't have a proposed solution, and I'm not saying by any means I hate World of Warcraft now, or that I'm quitting retail, no, none of that. I just wanted to throw my hat and my feelings into the ring, and I'm sure some of you out there would feel the same. I still like to just sit on the cliffs of Thunderbluff and look out on Mulgor. I still like to hear the music of Elwyn Forest and Stormwind as I'm strolling through. And sometimes, even as a heroic raider in Dragonflight, I still like to RP walk. And I hope that I'm not alone in saying I miss when games were games and we would play just for fun. Thanks for watching and take care. Hi.
the the dude made a really good video i admit uh but there is the reason why i didn't do a video like this because i don't have a solution about that uh he just m shared how he felt about something and didn't propose a solution i kind of don't want to do that but uh at least i share his feeling i miss when wow well, was just a game but uh yeah that's it for this video